Eddie Truckman. Eddie Truckman. Listen to him on your iPod. That's right on your iPod. Eddie Truckman. Eddie Truckman. No, not Buckman. We said Truckman. And you shall laugh even longer and harder than when you saw Jennifer Lopez and Monster in Law. And now, Eddie Truckman. This is Eddie Druckmann, and when I'm not working on my socially relevant musical about grinding up the evil homeless into savory meat pies to feed to the deserving homeless, I'm bringing you the news. Winner of the Lizzie Borden Award, O.J. Simpson, may have had his book deal for If I Did It, in which Simpson outlines how he committed the murders of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ronald Goldman if, you guessed it, he did it fall through. But it hasn't deterred former President Bill Clinton from shopping his new book to O.J.'s publisher, Reagan Books. The title of the Clinton book? If I did have sex with that woman, she would have said, after you're inside me, I'm converting to Catholicism so I can become a nun, because now only Jesus can come close. The producers of the canceled CBS medical drama, Three Pounds, a show about brain surgeons whose title refers to the weight of the average human brain, are not giving up. Their first follow-up is set in Washington, D.C. and follows brain surgeons assigned exclusively to looking after the neurological health of the president. The title, not quite three pounds, so give him a break. Bob, or you can call me El Presidente. Do you think our President Bush has done a good job as the President? I don't think so. Oh, you don't agree with the Oh, terrorism and nuclear bomb thing. Well, I just don't like that he has all the people over there fighting, you know what I'm saying? And people are dying and stuff. My son is over there, and I don't like that. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Who do you think will win if George W. Bush and Saddam Hussein were in the steel cage wrestling match? Who do you think will win? Saddam. Think he could? Yeah. I think he could. He would, because George Bush would try to talk himself out of it and Saddam just whip his ass. Okay, thank you. I'm wondering if George W. Bush and Saddam Hussein were in a steel cage match. Who do you think will win? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Do you believe that George Bush sleeps on nails? Say that question again. Do you believe that George Bush sleeps on nails? Right, nails. Nails? Uh, yes, thank you. <laughs> Hey, we gotta move. I don't want these birds pooping on my head. If you could say one thing to Bush, what would it be? Now who's Bush? Until next time, this is Eddie Druckmann with a final thought. Let a smile be your umbrella, and you'll get really wet when it rains.
This has been Eddie Druckmann on the web, where no one is safe, not even me. Now, for God's sake, would you go out and play? The sun is shining someplace. Eddie Druckmann, Eddie Druckmann, listen to him on your iPod. That's right on your iPod. Eddie Druckmann, Eddie Druckmann, no, not Buckman, we said Druckmann. And you shall laugh even longer and harder than when you saw Jennifer Lopez and Monster-in-Law. And now Eddie Druckmann.